In this video, we will discuss promissory estoppel. Promissory estoppel is where we have a promise. There is no return consideration, but the party might still be liable for the promise. Remember, for a contract we need three things, an offer, acceptance, and consideration. And if we don't have consideration, we don't have a contract. With promissory estoppel, instead of consideration, we have a promise that induces reliance and the court finds some liability for the promise. So look for a situation where one party makes a promise. That party should expect that the person to whom he made the promise will rely on that promise, and as a result there is an injury. So let's say Patty and her uncle are walking down the street. They pass by a jewelry store and Patty looks enviously at the beautiful jewelry. Her uncle says, go ahead, get whatever you want, I'll pay you a thousand dollars next week. Patty goes in, she makes a deal for the jewel that she likes. She pays the money and heads out the door. But a week later, her mean uncle says, yeah, I changed my mind, no money for you. Now Patty's in trouble because she just spent all that money to buy the jewelry. Patty's upset, but what can she do? There is no consideration for the uncle's promise, and if there is no consideration, wouldn't a court say there was no contract? But this situation seems pretty unfair. After all, the uncle did make a promise, and he should have expected Patty to rely on that promise, and Patty's been injured. And where we have a promise, a reasonable expectation of reliance on that promise, and some sort of injury that appears unfair, a court might apply promissory estoppel. Based on promissory estoppel, the court could assign some liability to the uncle for breaking his promise. If you'd like to discuss promissory estoppel or any other matter related to U.S. law, feel free to comment below and stop by my website, blog, and forum.